What's going on everyone, it's Short Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you where all 54 Golden Gnome locations are located at. And on that note, you want to make sure that you have this game at least completed, both zombies and plant side, just because there's some areas that you need to access, and they're only accessible from you progressing through the story. So anyways, there will be a few that will be located around in the backyard, and then the rest we will be getting from multiplayer maps. And don't worry guys, you don't have to actually be playing against players. You can actually set the settings to where you're versing nobody and nobody's on your team. So you're just free to roam around and look for these golden gnomes. Or once you picked up the Crazy Dave one inside the garage, which most of you probably already collected that one, you can go downstairs in the garage and down here you can actually shoot a button right over here. And this will actually lift up a gnome. So yeah, there's another one for you guys. Okay, so since those two are knocked out, you want to go back here in the backyard where the portals are at and go through any of them. There will be one located in each of these. One that's located in the orange one is literally right here in front of us back here. Okay, so for Colonel Corn's portal, it'll be located behind the fence back here. And this is only accessible once you've completed his missions. Anyways, for number five, this will be located in Rose's area. Just go inside her kingdom that she has and shoot this button against the wall. This will blow up the area on the water fountain and you can collect the gnome in there. Alrighty, so moving forward, since we've gotten these, now let's make our way over to the EA Sports soccer field. There's actually one that's located on top of this billboard up here, and it can be pretty tricky to get. I actually recommend a person that you can jump higher with, such as the Pea Shooter or Super Brains. So from the billboard, just head down here over toward the docks, and you'll find a golden gnome inside this drainage pipe. Okay, so I hope you all are following along because I don't want you guys to miss one and then you have to go back through this guide and try to find the one you missed. So for this next one, I actually recommend being the zombie soldier just because you can do some kind of like specific jump while you're falling into the air to make some leverage up to this platform. And on this ledge platform down in the sewers, there is actually another golden gnome. Just be careful on this jump because if you miss it, you're dead. But once you got the gnome, it doesn't matter if you just fall off and die. Anyway, so once you've gotten that one, just take this route that I'm taking from that little jump area and then take a right here. It'll actually be way down at the end of this tunnel behind a gate with some stairs that looks like you can go up them. Alright, so now we're going to want to go into the zombie territory and there will actually be one located on the left side of the map if you're entering the zombie territory from the gate it'll actually be over here in the coffin now for the next one like i said before you want to make sure that you've progressed through the story to find these this next one will actually be located down into the zombie base aka the doctor's hideout just make sure you have a character that can jump higher because this will be kind of a tricky jump to perform it'll be located up here on this rock okay now we're going to want to take out the gnomes in the portals at the zombie area doesn't matter which one you go into first, but I'm going into the sea captain's one first. And his will actually be located in his bedroom on his shelf. And actually, there's a row stuffed animal in his bed too. Don't ask me why. So once you've collected that one, I'm just going to go over here into the imp lairs area. And the golden gnome in here will actually be sitting on this car. Okay, now let's go into Super Brain's portal. His will be located right behind his humongous statue that he has inside his portal. You know, the giant statue of himself. I mean, come on, this guy has some serious pride. But anyways, the gnome will be located right behind his statue. Okay, if you collected all these, congratulations. You now officially have all of them in the backyard area. Up next is the multiplayer maps. And before I get started with this, I want to make this clear with you guys because I did not know this when I was actually collecting these. You can actually just free roam into the multiplayer areas with no enemies to worry about. Like literally you can make it so you have no allies and no enemies too. All you have to do is just go to settings and as you can see you can just go over to none. How nice, right? And when you go in, like I said before, there will be nobody in here. You are free to roam around and collect these golden gnomes. But anyways, we're not going to be starting at this map. We're actually going to be starting at the Sandy Sands map, and you can find this map by just going to the Team Vanquish. But anyways, once you've gotten in, if you start as the zombies, you will actually find this pot up here on this ledge. And this pot is breakable, and guess what's inside it? You'll never guess. It's another golden gnome. Okay, now the next one I had a problem getting to because I had so many enemies attacking me, but for you guys, it should be just a breeze to get to. Just go back to where the plants should spawn in in the beginning, 
at least they did in this game I was playing in. And back here where the water stream is, you can actually find a button you can press on top of the building over here. It's pretty hidden, I'm not going to lie. But when you activate this button, it will send a boat with a hot dog on it. I'm just kidding. It'll be another golden gnome. So yeah, there you guys go. These are the two in this map. Okay, so for the next two, we'll be located on the Zen Peak multiplayer map. Once again, just go to Team Vanquish, and also you can change settings too, if you didn't know that. You can like change the speed and how high you can jump. And also there's other settings too that you might like. But anyways, once you get inside Zen Peak, this one is freaking awesome. I love the location of it. If you head over here to this waterfall, don't get these waterfalls mixed up. There's actually two waterfalls around this area. But you will notice this waterfall, if you drop down, there will be a secret treasure room in here. And inside this room will be, once again, your next golden gnome. The next one on this map will be in the far back, well, I guess it's according which side you're spawning on, but for my case it was, it was actually located way over here. I guess just use my surroundings as a reference of where to go. But yeah, as you can see it is located up here on top of these rocks. It's pretty hidden and away from the battle like most of these golden gnomes will be. But I have to say this location is not as cool as a location as the first golden gnome in this map. Alrighty, so now let's make our way to the Time Park multiplayer map. There's actually some pretty cool locations for Golden Gnomes in this one too. So when you're in here, just head over to the Rome location, and there will actually be a gnome you can find by pressing this button right up here. Definitely pretty easy to miss. Anyways, this next one will be located in the Zegypt area of this map. This one's pretty simple to find. It'll actually be located in this drainage right here of the stream. Alright, so for the next two, let's head over to the Z-Tech Factory multiplayer map. Okay, so once you're here, the first one is pretty simple to find. It's not too difficult. You don't have to press no button or nothing to find it. It's literally located right back here in the corner next to the Z-Tech parts. As for the next one, though, you are going to have to press a button, and it's not too far away from the Z-Tech parts. It's up these flight of stairs and once you're looking out here in this scenery you can find a button over there on top of the building and once you press it a hot air balloon will come out of nowhere with a golden gnome on it so yeah there are the two in the z-tech factory map next up is the bony island the first one i'll be showing you is on the beachside area and if you head over here it'll be located right on the side of this cliffside but watch your step don't fall in the water for the next one it'll be located on the other side of the map if you went to this area first it'll be right around this place in the map there will be a lot more trees around this vicinity and if you look up top on the mountain you can find a button you can press it's pretty hidden I'm not gonna lie and for some reason I couldn't shoot it with my beam probably because it just couldn't reach up there but if I used my blast I was able to hit it and once you hit that button a gnome will pop up out of nowhere right behind the fence here up next we'll be heading to the Coliseum map and this first one I'll be showing you here is actually pretty tricky to get it'll be located around this area just look at my surroundings for a reference of where to go but once you get here you're gonna have to find a way to hit this button on the other side of this platform that we're standing on. I actually used the Cactus's garlic drone to shoot this button and it'll open up a wall. But if you try to just jump down there and shoot it real quick, it doesn't matter if you die. Just as long as you shoot the button, it'll activate this secret doorway that'll have the golden gnome inside. And that secret doorway that it opens up is literally a part of this platform that we're standing on. You can find it by going out in the yard here and you'll see right there is the golden gnome inside this secret door passage. Anyways, the next one is pretty simple to get. You're just going to want to make sure you are a smaller character just because it is in a smaller crevice. Once again, just look at the surroundings that I'm at to kind of find out where to go here. But once you get here, it'll be inside this giant skull's eye. Once again, it's pretty difficult to get while you're a bigger character, so I just recommend coming here as a smaller character to pick this up easily. There will be a few others like this as well, but not in this map, just in the future I'll be showing you guys that you're going to have to be a smaller character. Well, you don't have to, it just makes it easier to grab. Anyways, for the next map I'll be showing you all is Frosty Creek. Now the first one here will be located kind of near this bridge area, I guess that's a good landmark to say where it's by. And if you follow the path up from this bridge area, you can find a devastating wreck here. And actually in this disaster is the Golden Gnome. It'll be in this truck bed. 
For our next win here, it's literally right by this wreck, kind of anyways. It's over here at this scenery view. Once again, we're going to have to shoot a button at this scenery view. It is hidden over here on this bridge, but once you shoot it, it will send a floating log your way with a golden gnome on it. So yeah, just grab that one, and that'll be all of them for the Frosty Creek map. Alright, so now let's head off to the Lunar Landing map and knock out the ones there. Once again, there will be two here as well. The first one I'll be showing you is actually easier to get as a smaller character, but anyways, this one will be inside the cockpit of this drill machine. So for the next one, we'll want to head inside the building here, and there will actually be a hidden switch that we can hit, and this switch, once again, will activate a secret door, of course, and inside that door will be the last gnome in this map. Congratulations, that is the 30th Golden Gnome if you are following this guide. We're almost there everybody, we've made it a little past the halfway mark now. You're too far in to quit this collection now, so keep it up. Okay, so for these next ones, they're going to be located in the Herbal Assault map, Zomburbia, which is personally one of my favorite maps. This map is freaking awesome. But anyways, I suggest starting out on the plant side, just because there is one located on this side pretty early. If you head over here at the far right from spawn, you will notice that there's a gnome hidden behind this tree over here in this yard. Once again, I suggest playing this where there's no enemies at all. I do not know why I played with enemies. Don't ask me, okay? But anyways, once you capture the first zone, you will have to head over to the next capture zone. But on your way there, you can actually find a hidden button behind this fence, which is actually a pretty sweet hidden button, I have to say. And it opens up this garage with a hidden gnome inside. It's just awesome how they added in these little secrets on these maps. I mean, who knows? These spots that I've shown you might actually come in handy in the actual multiplayer games versus other real players. A lot of them probably don't even know about these spots. Anywho, the next two will actually be on your way to capture the zombie park area. You will notice right by the capture zone, if you head to the left side, past these scorpions in the cage, you can find a golden gnome in a syrup box that's stacked on other syrup boxes. Anyways, for the next one, it's also located right by this capture zone. If you head over here toward these docks, you can actually find a little seagull that's sitting on a rock here, and also not to mention a drainage pipe, and the gnome will be inside this drainage pipe. But you don't have to necessarily take the route that I took to get here, and also you can wait to capture the zone to come toward this area just because it can take you out of bounds and you have a risk of killing yourself when going this way. But anyways, as for the fifth one in this herbal assault map, you're going to have to head toward the Bat Frat House, which this is right after you capture the zone in the zombie park. It'll send you toward this area. But anyways, there will be a wall inside the Bat Frat House that you can destroy, and inside that wall is, of course, the next gnome that you'll collect. Lastly up on this Zomburbia map, but certainly not least for all these golden gnomes, is located at this final capture zone. Once you've captured the zone, you will notice that you have to ruin the party if you're playing as the plants. And, well, if you head into this fortress here and head down the stairs toward the library, there will actually be a waypoint that leads you down here to destroy part of the party. But anyways, you're not going to worry about that waypoint at the moment. If you actually shoot the books on this shelf, you can actually find a hidden button. And this will open up an awesome looking secret treasure room. Inside here will be the final golden gnome on this map. Okay, so now for the next six, which will be located on the Great White North map. At spawn, there will be nothing here in the beginning. Just make sure you capture the first zone. But from the first zone, there will be right on top of this hilltop over here where these snowmen are actually located at, but a specific snowman around this location will have a golden gnome inside it. So yeah, just make sure you pick up this one. Now for the second one in this map, will be located after you capture the second zone. Just head up on top of this hilltop up here in this ice cavern. And inside this ice cavern will be an icy wall that you can destroy and inside it will be a treasure room with the golden gnome. Okay, so once you have captured the zone on the ice hockey rink, you'll be heading toward the uh, secret cabin next. But once you get around that vicinity, you'll find a bridge that you can go underneath, and there'll be once again some icy walls that you can destroy. And behind one of these icy walls will be the next golden gnome. As for the fourth one, it'll also be around this location. If you just continue following the frozen stream toward this scenery view over here, you'll find another button that you'll have to press. It's pretty hidden over here, but once you press it, a golden gnome will come to the surface on a rubber floaty ducky. Okay, so for this next one is going to be extremely hidden up here on this windy pass. If you head up over here, I guess a good thing to look for is this crate. Anyways, if you head over to this cliffside by this crate and look down, you'll find another crate with a green tarp over it. So just jump down here 
And down here you'll find the next treasure room with the golden gnome inside. It's kind of difficult to make your way up out of this place, but it is possible. I guess it's according on who you came down here with. Lastly up on this map will be right around this capture zone area. You'll have to look for a button once again out past this cliffside over here, but once you find the button and shoot it, a golden gnome will actually appear up on top of this rock over here. Pretty strange how it just randomly pops up over here, but hey, it does. So there you guys have it. All of them here. Now for the next map. So for these next six, we'll be on Moon Base Z, and I have to say the first one that you get here is pretty awesome. We almost got them all now, guys. Just keep your mind on that prize. But anywho, at the very beginning of this place, you can find an extremely hidden switch that you can press way up here on this moon rock. And once you press it, you'll see the golden gnome randomly flying down out of the sky at this rock over here. I have to say, a pretty cool way to find a golden gnome. As for the next one, as soon as you capture the first zone and start heading toward the next capture zone, just head over here to the left on top of this luggage pile. It looks like a bunch of trash up here, like the movie Idiocracy, if you've ever seen that. But anyways, if you shoot the button here, a golden gnome will shoot out of these doors at the top of this pile. As for the third gnome in this place, as soon as you capture the second zone, Zone, you'll have to start heading toward the next zone and on your way there outside in this no gravity zone area You can find a golden gnome a past the way that you're normally supposed to head to it'll be down here on this drop It looks as if there's nothing down here But if you drop down you can find a little cliffside and the gnome will be there Anyways for the fourth one I have to say this is probably the coolest golden gnome location out of them all like this place is freaking awesome This would be definitely a nice gnome to end this 54 collection with but nah that's not wrapping up this video quite yet. But as you can see, if you drop down around this drill area, there's actually an opening down here. Best way to find where to drop at is look for the green aurora when looking down. That's the crystals glowing, so that's how you know that you're heading toward the right area when you drop down. But once you get inside this place down here, there will basically be a secret within a secret. You're going to have to shoot the button on the wall, and that will open up the path toward the next golden gnome. But the little golden gnome isn't the only gnome in here. As you can see, there is a humongous golden gnome just sitting on a throne out there in that scenery view. But you can't get out there. I tried, trust me. But in all honesty, this place down here just looks awesome. And by the way, just take the teleporter to get out of this place. It will actually send you back up to the top where that drill was drilling at. Anyways, the fifth one will be actually up around this capture zone too. It'll be back here in this minecart. I mean, it's nothing too crazy to find, but it's still kind of hidden. Lastly up on this list, once you've captured that zone at the drilling area, around the next capture zone place, you'll actually have to do a little bit of parkour. Unless you have no gravity on, well then this jump will be a lot easier. But for me, I didn't have the no gravity on, so I just jumped over to this pipe over here or whatever it is and then from this pipe I jumped over to the golden gnome that's over here on this rocky cliff so bam boom bedoozle we're on the last final six in this collection thank goodness I'm excited to wrap this video up and I'm sure you guys are excited to complete your collection these last final six to end this collection to get your guys's good rewards out of no man's land and not to mention complete the achievement for collecting all these golden gnomes is going to be on the seeds of time map once you've entered the map literally at the beginning just head over here to this gift shop and the first one will be located on the shelf in this gift shop area as for the next one, after you captured the zone in Dino Land, you'll be heading over to Zegypt. And once you get to this Zegypt area, there will actually be another gift shop. I guess that's what this is because there's toys and there's a bunch of toys on the shelf here. But anyways, the Golden Gnome will be on this shelf in here. Anyway, once you've gotten the zone here, you'll be heading over to Asia. As you can see, it's spelled with a Z. Anyways, once you get inside this place, you want to head over to the left side of the map and there will actually be a secret button that you'll press right above this doorway and this will actually send a gnome on a cloud down to you so yeah just grab that one pretty awkward by the way you cannot stand on that cloud so do not attempt that anywho once you've gotten the zone at Asia you'll be heading over to Rome and there will actually be two located in this area the first one will be once again located in a gift shop area but you're gonna have to press a button behind this waterfall just take the route that I took going here and hit that button the golden gnome will spawn up here in this gift shop. This next one is literally right by this place. If you have no gravity on 
as a setting, then this will be very easy to get to. But if you don't, you can still get up here. As you can see, the Golden Gnome is located up here on this ledge. Okie dokie, for the last and final Golden Gnome in this guide for you guys will be located in the Medieval Zone in the Seeds of Time. You're going to have to be the plant just because zombies are not able to get over here. It's actually an out-of-bounds area, just because I guess this is the plant spawning area. I, I don't actually know why. You're just going to have to be a plant. If you didn't know, you can switch teams if you started as a zombie. You can just go to respawn and switch your team from there. But anyways, once you're a plant, just use this cannon to shoot over to this area and jump over behind this wall and head over to the left side of this area if you're taking the route that I took. The last and final golden gnome will be in this fire. Oh yeah! Congratulations everybody if you followed my guide all the way through and collected all 54 of these golden gnomes. And in case you guys just skipped to the end of this video to check if this video actually showed all 54, don't you worry. Yes it does. I'm telling you guys for a fact this will have all 54 gnome locations in this. I did not miss a single one. But on that note, I actually created a video recently about what you're supposed to do when you get all 54 of these golden gnomes, but I guess I'll give you a quick synopsis of what you do. You'll get a phone call randomly in the city actually once you've gotten like 10 golden gnomes or something like that around there. So once you've gotten that call and they delivered the key that you'll need to get inside the gnome man's land, which that key will be a bomb, and it'll blow up a certain gate down here in the sewers. But once you get down here, if you collected all 54 of these golden gnomes, a cutscene will actually happen right when you enter the room with the giant golden gnome with the hammer. And there will actually be more secrets within this secret that you'll have to uh, figure out, let's just say that much. And once you have figured out these other secrets, you'll be able to get some crazy good loot. Like I'm talking about 600,000 plus coins down here, and not to mention some other unique goodies as well that you can only get from you know, coming down here. If you want to know a more detailed version of what you're actually supposed to do down here, I advise you to check the video in the description because there is a puzzle down here that can get kind of confusing to do. So yeah, just check the description. I'll leave my video that I made about down here. I also tell you guys how this code was even cracked to open this secret door. And let's just say it's pretty crazy. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. It'll be much appreciated if you could leave a like and or maybe share this with some of your friends if they're up for the challenge of collecting all these golden gnomes. Like I said, there is some crazy good loot to get from collecting these. It's just all depending if you're willing to take the time to collect them. But this has been a video by your rifle, and remember to stay safe out there, everyone. And, of course, if you haven't, subscribe for more content like this. Hopefully I'll see you all in my next videos to come. Thanks for checking out my content. Peace.